are you today? Thanks for coming out. My name is Brian Yazel. I'm the CEO of PlayPower, which is a company you may not know, but you know one of our subsidiaries, SawPlay, uh, which has been an IAPA member since inception. So I want to introduce a couple of my, my close friends and colleagues here, Ken Schober, uh, who leads up uh, both SawPlay as well as PlayPower Tech, which is the initiative we'll talk about today. And, and then our, our close friends and uh, partners and collaborators, uh, Denise Chapman Weston and Rick Briggs. Rick's in the front row here today, uh, and Denise on stage with us. We're so glad that you came and joined us here today for uh, this press conference because we have something incredibly exciting to share with you today. Um, before I do that, I just want to share a little bit about Play Power because it has a lot to do with what we're trying to get done here today. So Play Power, you may not know, is one of the largest global uh, playground equipment companies around. We uh, have offices in 13 countries, and we have shipped uh, recreational experiences into pretty much every country on the globe. And we do so through a number of subsidiaries, including the ones that are on the page here, who you likely do recognize. And that's because we think all of the muscle from a marketing perspective should be on the companies and the brands that you recognize, like SoftPlay. Uh, in our ecosystem, we have companies that date back to 100 years, and that matters. And a recreational experience where safety matters, considering the potency of the play experience matters, thinking thoughtfully about how an experience could be educational and could work in a museum environment or outdoors or indoors uh, in a movie theater or, or any number of other arrays of, uh, of opportunities. And so that's, that's who Play Power is. And so we bring this breadth of experience from a number of different subsidiaries all around the globe. And today we're here to launch something that we're all very excited about. That's Play Power Technology. Uh, Play Power Tech is, uh, is uh, for us, a pretty important venture because ultimately the play and recreation industry reinvents itself in a number of ways at different points throughout the continuum of history. And just looking around this convention hall, just looking at our own soft play business, we've seen that throughout history. All of the businesses uh, that, that are members of IAPA at different times uh, decided that there were the right inflection points to invent something a little bit different in the, in the world of play. And this is one of those creations from our, our perspective. Play Power Technology, what it is, is uh, an opportunity to create an immersive, experience for any participant that relies on bringing elements of technology into the physical space. We've heard a lot about uh, the metaverse here as of late, and we'll talk a little bit more about how we view this in that ecosystem. So I'm going to hand it over to Ken in, in a minute uh, here just to talk about, but I think two important things before I hand it off to Ken and to Denise to share a little bit more about this initiative. One is that if you're anything like us, you'll realize that this initiative hits on a chord that we think is pretty intuitive for most people. And that's that notwithstanding what you see in the news about the metaverse, everyone knows that intuitively technology is not an end in itself. It's there as a facilitating mode to make other experiences richer. And for us, we view technology is something that makes the play experience much richer. That's the object, is to use it as something that brings out all and enhance experiences of play and how we interact with other people in the real world. That's point number one. And then the second point is that for everyone who ultimately serves in a capacity where you're ultimately trying to attract others to, to, to your uh, business, we feel like what we're introducing here today is something that is phenomenal because not only will it create an amazing experience for your clients and your customers, but just from a pure return on investment profile, it's something that has a very different profile from a lot of other activities generally in a way that will help increase ticket or increase the profit per ticket in a way that some other attractions haven't in the past. And for those reasons, we're really excited that you're here and we're really excited to share it with you. So with that, I'm going to hand it off to two of the best names in play here, and first, Ken Schober is going to speak with you. So, Ken, thank you. Boy, it is so exciting to be back at a physical IAPA after a year of sitting behind Zoom. So, so happy to be here today. 37 years ago at IAPA, 1984, one of our play power units, soft play, launched a new category of play that is now used by 
by millions of people all throughout the world. The products evolved over time and will continue to evolve. Reflecting on this and the legacy of that, I'd like to take a minute to thank the association, IAPA, for providing this platform for hundreds of companies to bring new ideas to market. It's these products and these services that provide entertainment and opportunities often launched here at IAPA that really enrich lives that's so important to humankind. It's fitting today at this show to announce that new venture under the Play Power umbrella that we're calling Play Power Technology. Our mission is simple, that's to create a whole new category of play for the future. The technology that will be deployed enables headset-free virtual experience that creates ever-changing, highly interactive environments. What's unique about it is we will integrate the technology with a physical structure or a physical space enabling a high degree of socialization that is so important, especially when we consider what's happened in the past 18 months. Simply put, we are social beings. We need to be with others. We need to interface with others. And we believe what we're embarking upon will enable that to occur. There's going to be endless applications for the metaverse going physical. Location-based entertainment facilities, attractions, theme parks, cinemas, cruise ships, resorts, museums, just to name a few. We're so pleased to partner with industry icons that are known for developing and innovating transformative attractions. Denise Chapman West mentioned on my left, Rick Briggs sitting down here in the front. I've admired what they've done for years. I've admired their inventions. We're so excited to finally partner with these two great creative individuals. We can't wait to bring the next category of the new interactive experience to market. Denise is going to walk us through the vision for this concept. Hi, everyone. It's good to see you all. Um, again, I really appreciate you being here, and I'm really excited to take something to the next level. I don't like leave my side without this, because this is a marking 18 years ago when we brought video games to life through the wave of a magic wand. Magic Quest was one of the first attractions that tracked players in a real environment using game mechanics, where you become the avatar, the hero of your own journey, telling stories and gaming endlessly in quests and adventures that is now in every great resort around the country. The cool thing about this is that this identifies you. It's been tracking and doing its job in Magic in ways where technology is behind the curtain. That system we created 18 years ago, if you think about that, it's like well, Google is three years old. But the kinds of technologies and the tools we had back then were very limited. So to invent this next core category of play, we were reliant on putting together and co-creating with AV companies and supportive show control systems and media and RFID and infrared and all kinds of technologies to make this come to life. And that's exactly what the metaverse is supposed to be. It's not a wall It's an open platform where many people are coming together to develop something fantastic. And one of the things that the metaverse, I don't know, if, how many people have like, heard that word lately since it, meta and Facebook and all that good stuff? So part of the metaverse is something we envisioned back with Magic Quest. And one of the ideas was when you step beyond the digital line and you end up in a physical space, how can you still feel immersed and interact at the same time? How can you feel like you belong and it's actually remembering and personalized 
take you on quests, go deeper into a story and be recognized. This is player one. 18 years ago, I registered this one. And I can walk back into any Imagine Quest and it remembers who I am. You're player one, you're the first player in Magic Quest. And all my points and everything come up. That was remarkable to be able to do that with technology. But technology's evolved and changed. The metaverse is getting bigger. The word is getting overused. But it's about that digital screen. It's about that side of the equation. It's about spending more time at home. And in our industry, it's about coming out, going to play. And the one thing that I adored most, I go to the next slide, is the physical structure. Look at this. This is a playground. On it is projection. Part of our partners here is Panasonic Hollywood Labs, looking at how to do mapping and doing it perfectionally. So it immerses you and interacts with you the same way you did with this. That's it. You see it? It's off. You realize what you're doing is taking a play structure, bringing it to life. So you really do go down that hole. You actually slide through, climb through, go on top, go on. And its projection is interacting with you in real time because the technology has gotten epic. And luckily for us, we received a mega grant from Epic Games to create just this physicalizing the metaverse in ways that takes off the headset and drops you into the environment. Let's give you a little more of what it looks like. Player. 
and have the same immersion as you would if you were behind the screen at home playing. You can't do this at home. There's nothing on your heads. The physical activity is bringing you together with other people. See them laugh, watch them play, work together to make a mission happen, meet new people, socialize. That's 90% of what play is really supposed to be about. I'm proud to be working with you guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. We have questions. Let you know that we're going to do alpha and beta testing in um, the beginning of like January, February. And we're looking for feedback. The best part of the industry is to be able to go to you, test the product, get your feedback, and evolve the changing. Bring our guests in, get the feedback, and evolve the changing in real time, right? Now we can do that. So we would like to invite you to participate in the co-creation of this physical metaverse. Thanks, you guys. Great to see you. Any questions? Three minutes. <laughs> any questions or anything? Well, we're here if you have any questions, and we can show you more. We have more secret sauce if you want to see how we're moving it forward. Thank you all.